And this one looks like a really interesting competitive worker placement game. And it does have a weighting of a three on BGG, but I do think this one is a little bit more accessible than that because I don't think this one looks too complicated to teach or play. Essentially, the way that this game works is that each player is going to have four different workers that are going to be represented by these hero tokens. And what's really cool about this is that each of these heroes is actually going to have their own special ability. Whenever it is your turn, you'll be able to put those workers out on two different locations on the main board, with each of those locations giving you a specific action, but then you'll also be able to take advantage of your worker's action as well. But what I'm actually showing on the screen now is the player aid, which outlines all those different actions at the different locations, but the main board is actually going to like to see a little bit more of the artwork that the board has to offer. But there'll also be some locations on either side of the board where players can actually build ships and forts in order to fight back against various invaders. And the different actions that players can perform are going to allow them to gain all sorts of different resources and cards that they can use to fight back against those invaders or to build different ships and forts, which, like I said, can also help you battle against those invaders depending on where you build them out on the board. But whenever you gain one of those ship or fort cards, you'll also have the ability to activate that ship or fort in order to generate some sort of resources or to convert resources into other resources. Of course, they do have have a cost in order to initially build it but once you do that you will be able to use it to build up a little bit of an engine and like I said there will be invaders showing up on the board and they're going to have some amount of strength that players are going to have to overcome with their forts and cards in order to defeat that invader players who do this will of course gain some amount of victory points but players might also want to work together on this because if too many invaders go undefeated then all the players lose the game so even though this is a competitive game and you are individually rewarded for defeating these different invaders or making other accomplishments players still might want to work together to some degree just to make sure not too many of these invaders get through the game continues like this over four rounds with each player using their four hero tokens to perform those various actions. But another cool feature here is that these hero tokens are actually going to be randomly distributed at the start of the game. But then every single round, each player is going to be passing all of their action tokens to the player on their left. This means that every single round, players are going to have a different set of actions to choose from, but every player will get to use each set once. And assuming that players are able to fend off those invaders for the entirety of the game, then it's the player with the most victory points at the end of those four rounds that wins the game. And if you are interested in this one, I do have it linked in the description below.